the surface. Oh, it's so nice. Emirates Airlines. Sitting in the grand entrance hall to the eighth wonder of the world. This is Isambard King de Brunel's first project. It's the first tunnel under a river anywhere in the world. And today, it is the oldest tunnel in the London Underground. It opened in 1843 as a pedestrian tunnel. And you have to remember the idea of walking. No, look, under British the Airways. The size of the Thames is like walking. Wow. On the first day, there are 15. That's in the rare E70, I think. Uh -huh. No, I mean, uh, E1925. In its day, this was. See, it approached the runway. Yeah, that's a very steep approach, though. I've seen things very interesting things. Brunel did here, he oh, created a just a car miners to work in. This is the worst so job in the world. Nice. They are showered in sewage, but they only work two hours. <laughs> <shows. laughs> they collapse <laughs> after two hours <laughs> and they're carried out and they're replaced so by wide over the Thames. That's of meters. pretty much what they do even Going today. north. This principle oh is simply been infiltrated. Oh, yeah, Brunel yeah. had miners, whereas Crossrail have tunnel boring machines. Brunel had bricklayers. Crossrail has precast concrete sections. This is the birthplace of the tube. Wow, see the hill so far beyond. And there's a Millennium Dome looking well down the Millennium Dome. Looking east, away from the city, you can see another impressive feat of British engineering, the Thames Barrier. It's one of the largest movable flood barriers in the world and has been protecting London for more than 30 years. Oh yeah, years. I see it. Wish I had seen. The original design criteria was to protect against the one in 1,000 floods in the year 2030. There's so I use the data out of the projected oh, yeah. the future. There's London City Airport. Safety margins in. It looks like we'll be okay until 2070. The barrier is comprised of 10 gates, the largest of which are 3,300 tons, approximately. Do you see the plane that does thunder? It, it turns around and has to come back. Oh, uh, they're going to sort that out when they're extending. Oh, yeah, they want to extend the tax more. Because that's reduced capacity. I see a massive cruise ship on this dock we're coming to. Look at all these disused uh, warehouses. A lot of more ships used to load and unload here. We're going to land about every five minutes. Might we get one more before we land? I can see the Great London uh, like, don't lock dock of like railway red train. I was always thinking, is it safe? It says, yeah. Having the um, this cable car. On the yeah. of London Perhaps not, but they ought to maybe approach another direction. By the way, you are not supposed to stand up on this flight. You see, you notice on these um, cable cars, on the actual cars, they advertise various Emirates destinations. Oh, the guy up here has given the commentary on the screen. It's not showing on my screen. Is it going to take off? So, uh, London City has uh, 18 outstands. That's for planes. Mm -hmm. You've got the lights on, perhaps oddly. It was quite clear. And there are, George, look at that, look at that. There's no one commanding. No one coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See the light against the cloud. Oh, it's only just showing up on my screen here. What a sight. Catching light. I mean, at the very end of the buildings, you had the run going up and catching light, and it would actually make slow. Oh, that's a turboprop. Yeah, that British Airways operates turboprops. For short flights, where to and from? People all want to Ireland. From Cardiff. That's a sat am. Not from London to Cardiff, or am I wrong? They do operate London to Cardiff. I had no idea. The Victoria Dock is now home to Excel London, one of the largest exhibition centres in Europe. King George V dock has become a city airport. It's necessary to stop the Emirates airline to allow guests to be able to redevelop. Nice. Stop the age. So if it suddenly stops halfway, don't get too worried. You're not going to be stuck here all day. Because didn't that happen to us once before? It did. I lost. Business people to travel to and from European cities right here into Royal Albert Dock. 
Business leaders will be able to attend meetings in Paris and within two hours be back at their desks here in London. When this See, it suddenly stopped. Flight time it is necessary to stop the Emirates Airlines to allow guests to board the plane. They've got a big uh, sort of getting on and off. Oh look, the graffiti, Lauren marry me, Ralph, age 79. Do you see on the roof of that building? The grey ferry concrete building. White background, black lighting. He obviously he took her on a flight one of these things. The history of this area, of course, has been about entrepreneurs and innovators. It was a group of entrepreneurs who built the Royal Docks. The Lower Lee Valley is where Michael Faraday did his electric experiments. Just across the way here is where Brunel built the biggest ship in the world, the Great Eastern. And this place, of course, And this is where they do um, all sorts of jet skiing or. Uh, Water skiing down here, aquatic sports. The post industrial revolution, the electronic technological revolution, began in the Lee Valley in 1904 by a man called Professor Ambrose Fleming, and he invented a thing called the Dio Valve. All electronic gizmos we have today can be traced back to this single, simple device. Nice. The first jet airline with a comet was built at Hatfield here in the Lee Valley. Thornley by Ferguson invented the first ever. Television, but we have the Royal Small Arms Factory in Enfield, the Lee Enfield rifle was produced there. It wasn't Bert Long Trent that made India Pale Ale. India Pale Ale was invented in London's Lee Valley by George Hodgson. So we've got a lot to thank the Lee Valley for. Next to the Emirates Airline Terminal is the Crystal, a building owned and operated by Siemens. Another one! To be one of the greenest in the world. The Crystal showcases sustainable development contains the world's largest permanent exhibition of its kind. We are in one of the most sustainable buildings in the world. It demonstrates innovative technologies to do with generating energy by solar and ground source heat pumps. Even the water of the toilets is being recycled. This exhibition showcases existing technologies and innovation and also stimulates discovery. It tries to make people imagine how their city might look by the middle of the century. Thank you for flying the Emirates Airline. You're welcome. Here for the Excel Exhibition Center, the Crystal. So they about an eight minute the journey. And dealer. Yeah. Oyster, return and single ticket holders, please alight here and exit to the left. Nobody ever says a light except sort of British transport. These recorded voices. It's like a word from the King James Bible, as in, get off. What, what, what did you want to do tomorrow? I don't remember. remember. I thought you hadn't made your mind up. I think we're going to go to Plainspot in London City. Fine. Yeah, sorry, do you happen to know the opening hours Monday to Friday? Yeah. Okay, I better switch it off now. Oh, fly me. 